brakes at all. What's up with that? Well, brakes didn't work because these are empty. Obviously they're leaking a little bit. Okay, so we put the roof back on this thing because winter was coming and I never even drove it. I probably could have just kept the roof off, but uh, I don't know. I'm, I think I'll keep the roof on for as long as I can this time. I don't need to have it off this summer. Like if I'm going to take the roof off something, I think it's going to be the big 4Runner and I probably only need one vehicle with the roof off, even though this thing is beautiful to drive with the roof off. But uh, I don't know. I'll just keep it on for this year. It's kind of tricky to take it off every year, take the doors off, do all that stuff. It's a lot of, quite a lot of work. Like if I had a, a winch in the garage to winch it off, then, you know, it'd be pretty easy, but. Wanna come for the first rip with me? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go for a rip. Okay, let's make sure it has brakes first. Oh yeah, there's the brakes again. Okay, don't need any choke to start it. Should fire right up. Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I'm wanting to uh, do an oil change. I want to check everything out. Um, since I built this thing, I haven't tightened anything, so I need to go over and, and re-tighten everything. Yeah, this thing needs a good go over, like everything needs to be checked over and even the roof. Yeah, like look at that, the, the roof isn't even fully uh, bolted in. Yeah, this this truck still needs a few things. And like the seatbelt, this is the rear seatbelt that's in here because uh, when you have the roof off, um, this is the seatbelt that's supposed to be up there, it bolts up there. Um, but when the roof's off, you can't do that. So when I have the roof off, this is just all I did. This is for the back, actually. That's not looking too pretty, is it? <laughs> oh well. So yeah, that one goes right there. And to close this door nicely, you have to like, I have to open this, close it, and then push it in. And then it closes like really nice. And actually, funny story, <laughs> right after painting this whole truck, I was putting the seat belts in right here. And uh, I used one that was too long and I put a dent on the outside of the truck. <laughs> so I need to make sure that this one isn't. It does look too long. There's these shorter ones, but maybe they'd be too short. That does look better. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try the shorter one out. I would hate to do that again. Put another dent in the side. This still scares me that I'm gonna put a dent in. <laughs> no way, I'm doing it again. Like I'm missing a washer or something. Damn it. No way. Well, I'm not gonna tell my dad that I just did that. Cause he's the one who had to fix it the last time. Yeah, I must be missing a washer. Yeah, that's all I needed was one little washer to prevent that. That tiny little washer is what prevented it. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
why. Yeah. What do you think? Okay, what is the problem here? When I do this. So anyways, the thing I need to tighten is behind there. To make this all. I'm also going to go over this whole truck and make sure everything's tight, like uh, all the bushings and all the motor mounts and the starter and I'm just going to go over everything and make sure it's tight. Uh, put this truck together, this is my first truck I ever built, so uh, I just need to go over everything. Is this fuel oil everywhere? Exhaust manifold and the motor mounts and, and everything. Like that. Yeah, manifold. It's tight. You might not be able to tell what this is, but this is one of the back motor mount. But yeah, everything does seem a little loose, so that's good. I'm going over everything. Double check everything. Maybe even the diff fluid since these hubs leak a bit. Yeah, tight enough. start issue, the drive shaft I broke. Let's pick all this gunk out of here. Maybe I didn't change this fluid, I don't know. Like, I haven't put it too much off-road, like those be gunked up like this. Maybe I didn't change these fluids. Okay, let's see how disgusting this oil is. Take the fill out, so 
also has some room to breathe. That's it, that's no good. Huh, maybe I didn't change it. Okay, well, 100 pumps later, just full. Yeah, full. Got the camper all set up today, getting ready for camping. Cleaned it all out and sprayed it and just made sure everything is working. I am about to do a driveway oil change. This is the first oil change since the rebuild. I'm at like 600 kilometers right now. Beautiful night. Okay, let's see if I can get the oil filter. Oh yeah. By hand, that's how I like it. Sometimes even the tightest one I can still undo with my hand. Okay, got it out. Let's see if I have any of these 51, 348. Yeah, let's go look. Well, don't go too far. Three, four, eight. Man, I have four of them. I've been told I should be using Toyota filters. Yes, I know. I will try and take these back and get myself some Toyota ones. Okay, that should be good. Okay, yeah, it's full. Okay, the roof is coming off the Forerunner today and the doors are coming off too. I saw some guys do some quick release doors or something, but uh, for today I will just unbolt it and then I'll figure that out later. Saw people that have pins that can just easily slide in and out, so eventually I'll figure that out. But yeah, it's uh, July 2nd and the roof is finally coming off. Uh, watch me struggle to get this uh, window to come down it's uh i don't know it needs a rebuild this whole mechanism needs a rebuild it's just i don't know it doesn't work too well so it came down mostly all right that last little bit wouldn't go down yeah those things are rough Yeah, this thing needs a rebuild. Looking pretty gross. Apparently you're not supposed to just do all of them this side and then all of them that side. You're supposed to kind of crisscross. So maybe I should do some crisscrossing. Last time I took this roof off, I didn't do that, but maybe I should. Go for 
drive with the roof off? Go for a drive with the roof off? Yeah. And for it to latch, I have to push the cable over on both sides so it actually latches. But now again, now we have a truck. Now we have a truck, not a forerunner. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Yeah, baby. Okay, doors off. Ready to do this. don't want anyone to steal this wheel so I'm going to try and put a bike lock on it. Someone steals my wheel. Put it just around the wheel there and around the roll cage. Perfect. my daddy and my brother. Oh my god, Willow. I thought you were a big bird or something. Pull my arm out. Is it cool? Gabby, what'd you think? The cop. Somebody called the cops. Oh. <laughs> Did they? Somebody called the cops. Levi, what'd you